What's up you guys, it's Adam D. And today I wanted to talk to you about the problems with Genshin Impact's late game. Now, I'm loving this game, but you absolutely hit a wall at one point in this game. And it might not be a huge problem for people right now, because uh, some people might not even be at my level yet, which admittedly isn't even that high. Like I'm, I'm level 31 right now, adventure rank. Some people I know are, try, are in the 40s. Some people who played in the Chinese beta and I, or the Chinese servers, they're even higher than that. Um, but I'm encountering this right now, and I encountered a little bit earlier, but because I spend money on this game, it's not as big of an issue beforehand. But for you guys who might not be at this point yet or thinking about spending money on this game, I want you to be aware of exactly what this end game entails because you might not be about it, if I'm being totally honest. So the the crux of the issue, right? And just to explain to you guys what I've done so far, all my quests, done, okay? My next story quest is at level 32. Um, and other than that, that's that's where my quests are. I've done my world, my, my quests on my world map. I've found every single Oculus that there is to find. I've found all the teleporters, all the domains, everything like that. I, I've been there, done that, okay? I've done my commissions my commissions for the day. I just bit my tongue so hard, ow. Um, I've done my commissions for the day. I'm at my adventurer handbook as chapter seven. Still got a little bit to go on that. But I've done the majority of like, I what I would refer to as the seemingly carefree content, the, the fun content that people would expect from this game and that I find really enjoyable. Some of you might hit this wall a little bit earlier, some of you may not, but so what ends up happening right now, right? Now that I've cleared out all that stuff is this resin comes into play big time. All right, now for those of you who've played other gacha games or mobile games, you're familiar with stamina systems, but this is a super punishing stamina system. And the reason why is it doesn't, it doesn't grow with you, right? Like a Dokkan, Battle, for example, Dragon Ball Z, which is another supremely popular gacha game. When you start out, you might only have 30 stamina. But every time you level up, you get more and more and more and more and more to the point where you're at like a ton and you can do whatever activities you want. And those activities consist of like going and fighting like bosses or new events or, or something like that, right? The problem with this game is once I've gone and I've done my commissions for the day and and everything else that I've done, the only thing that you have left to do is use this resin. And you only have 120 of it. And that's super limiting because anything that you do end game that you actually need to accomplish or the fun stuff where you have to fight and everything, it requires this resin. Like make no mistake about it. And if you don't have this resin, the only thing that you can do is do minor exploration like objectives, like opening up a chest for 20 to 30 XP or doing a time trial for 30 XP. That's it. And so like just doing some napkin math for you, right? Say in a perfect world, I'm at 120 resin right now, okay? If I go and I wanna use up all my resin to get adventure XP and for example, I am at Let's see, I need 6,300 XP to go from 30, or from 31 to 32, excuse me. 6,300, right? Your daily commissions are going to give you, uh, I think it's like roughly 1,400. You guys can look, 225 times four plus 500. I think that's, I think it's roughly like 1,400. Okay, so that's your daily, your four daily quests. And once that's done, right, so that's, 6,300 minus your 1,400 for daily quests, 1,400. Okay, so that brings me down to 4,900 XP I need additionally, right? The only thing, aside from some other minor like little objectives, is to use this resin or to go for chests. So, for example, if I go and I want to do nothing but ley lines to get XP, it costs me 20 resin. So we start off the day with 120. You divide that by 
20, you can do this six times and then you need to refresh. You need to spend money to refresh or you need to use a certain currency that is very limited in supply in order to refresh half of your of your resin. Okay, so I can do that six times. So that's, you're subtracting another 600. So now I can do, now I have 4,300 extra experience that I need. Okay, 4,300 and I can't do any more ley lines. I can't do any bosses and get loot from them. None of that. If you're doing, if you want to hop on and you're at like level 28 or something and you want to just fight bosses and get loot, you can do it twice. And then you have to spend money to go and refresh your resin. Now you do regen resin over time. I think in a 24 hour cycle, you get like 140 to 180 total resin for the entire day, right? So you can add on a couple of runs if you want to, but for the sake of the argument, that's it the rest of everything that you're doing, right? Like at my point, everything else that I can do, I either go and I drop some dough and I refresh my resin to half, right? And you can only do that six times a day. And by the way, the cost increases every time you do it, okay? So if I do it right now, next time I do it, it should be, it's 100, it doubled, okay? Every time you do that, you're going to have to spend dough or premium currency. If not, you're going to do chests. And now chests are a whole different beast. There are farming routes, right? There's farming routes around the map. But for the most part, you know, a common chest is like 20 XP. 20, right? I think uh, a precious chest might be 40 or 30. 40 or 30 XP. Now, when you have to go and make a gap, of 4,300 additional experience, okay? Let's just divide that by, uh, we'll be generous and we'll say, we'll divide it by 40, okay? Say every single chest you pick up is a luxurious or uh, precious chest. That's 107 chests you need to loot. That's what you're doing for the day. Or you go and do like time trials, but again, the same thing, like all those little found objectives, that's, that's what you're doing for the rest of your day. And so that's a major problem, right? For me, I, my enjoyment in spending money on this game is going for characters, right? Like I enjoy going and trying to pull for Deluc or Kishin or, or Jean or Venti, right? That's fun, okay? And I want to go and use those characters to go and fight bosses and dragons and all that stuff. That's the fun stuff to do. What isn't fun or isn't ideal is going and fighting two bosses and then that's it for me for the rest of the day unless I want to go and open 107 chests. Do you get what I'm saying? I just want you guys uh, to be aware of exactly what the current end game situation is like. Now I know that there's other YouTubers that are much higher level than I am They've spent a ton of money on refreshes. I admittedly have not. I've gone and I've used uh, most of my Primo gems on summons, but also sometimes you get um, delicate resin, which you can use to regen half of your resin. I used almost all of it, just like doing normal farming to try and get to level 31 where I'm at right now. Okay, I used like 16 of them. But, but the, the main thing I want you guys to understand is like, if you're gonna go and spend money, a ton of money on this game, I want you to understand what you're getting into. And uh, I don't get me wrong, I'm not stopping playing this game. I love this game. And I'm hoping that in the next patch, they release a lot more things that can help the situation, like making this so it's not capped at 120. I mean, anything so that people actually want to play the game. Otherwise, I know that you guys are, everybody's hype right now. There's going to be a point in either this week or next week where even people who are playing super casually and haven't been playing it nonstop are going to hit this wall. And I get that, like, you know, if the point of the game at the end is to do chess, that's fine. But there is a large amount of people that want to fight stuff in this game, right? You're dropping money on these characters. You don't want to just, you know, you don't want to just open up chests. And the problem is the chests, some of them respawn, some of them don't. 
So like you're in a situation where like, okay, I open up 107 chests. Now, if I say I do that in one day, say I actually do that in one day. All right. Like what if I go to the next level and the only thing that I can do, right? Cause I'm doing it the same day. The only thing that I can do is open up chests, right? 6,300 divided by 40. Then you got to open up 140, 157 chests. Or if I'm, if I'm not being kind, right? And I got 6,300 XP and I'm only going to be, I, the only chest that I can find are the normal chests. That's 315 chests that don't necessarily respawn or do respawn, but they're on a timer. And the rest of your time is you might just not even be able to be playing the game because there's nothing else for you to do. And so that is what I want to make this video about today, guys. I hope you found this information to be useful. I'm sorry if it was boring. I'm not trying to be negative. I really love this game, but they need to make a change to this resin system because it is going to, uh, it's it's gonna hurt, I, it's gonna really hurt this game once casual players start hitting that wall. And, uh, and that's it for me, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe for more Genshin Impact videos. I might put out my, my my summon video because I did pull Kishing and I'm super hype about it. Um, but that's all for me. Adam D out.